Egypt's president has called for a three-month state of emergency following terrorist attacks at two Coptic churches. The targets, worshipers on one of the holiest days in the Christian calendar. At least 36 people were killed. ISIL is claiming responsibility. Both blasts were in the north, the first in the city of Tanta, not long after another explosion in Alexandria. CGTN's Yasser Hakim reports. It was supposed to be a day of celebrations, but again, Egyptians woke up to the tragic news of the bomb attack. Lying on the ground covered in blood are bodies of more than 20 people who were in a church in Tanta, north of Cairo, celebrating the Coptic feast. But the bomb ended their lives. This was followed by a suicide bomb attack next to a church in Alexandria City that killed more Egyptians. Both attacks were claimed by ISIL-affiliated groups. They don't differentiate between Muslims and Christians. They want to create havoc. Security officials have called us and said they are tightening security measures during the festival season. How has the bomb gone off inside? Though not confirmed yet, preliminary investigations point to a bomb that might have been planted under a seat in the main hall of the church. Meanwhile, locals gathered around the church to monitor developments, others to provide help and vent their anger at the perpetrators. I am calling for justice. I want justice. They must get death penalty when arrested. They killed our brothers, our sons and our people. Egypt has been gaining ground against militants in a crackdown that started over two years ago. On Sunday, Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Sisi summoned the National Security Council for an urgent meeting, promising to bring the perpetrators to justice. The Egyptian president has vowed to eradicate terrorism from the country. But for now, Egyptian Christians, for the second time in a few months, will spend their holidays mourning their dead ones rather than celebrating their festivities. Yes, Hakim, for CGTN, Tanta, north of Egypt.